Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Kyle Can't Game. Welcome to Amissa. We are starting this brand new playthrough on this brand new, to me, map. I think this map exi existed in ASE, and it has been out for quite a while in ASA, but I have never played it, and I am freaking pumped to start playing it. Where are... We are like in this little fortress thing, dude. This is dope. Amissa Main City, and the, the music for this section is super cool. <clears throat> I, you guys probably can't hear it because I have the game audio turned low, but uh, man, it's very like angelic, and dude, this is so cool. There's so so many little buildings. It's very uh, angelic and like harpy, and uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. But yes, uh, we have, I have bought my own server, uh, you know. You know the struggles that I've had with uh, save files on Xbox, and uh, you know my experience with official. We don't need to talk about it. You know, if if uh, if you watched that series, you know the struggles. I'm not gonna talk crap. I I try not to do that, especially on my favorite game in the world. Um, but you know, official was not gonna work for us, and that's too bad. Uh, but yeah, I rented a server, and if you're curious, in case you didn't know, Nitrado is no longer has a monopoly on uh, Arc Ascended servers. So I am hosting on Gravelhost, it came very highly recommended to me, and it's my first time hosting a server. So you can see it's day 21 here, <laughs> because <laughs> it took me so long. I had never played with INI settings, I had never done any of that kind of stuff. Um, so I did set up a few mods, and it's mostly... I've got the TG, uh, the TG stacking mod, solo farm mod, QOL+, plus, Dino Depot, crafting skill... Uh, I've got my simple performance mod on here. I'll leave them all listed underneath like I normally do, but... Uh, oh, this is a cool section. This, just this little... Dude, I get, stop freaking out about the buildings. Uh, <laughs> and then I put on... Uh, I didn't want to do a lot of creature mods because... These guys have a... They have two mods that they recommend come with the map. One of them is called Amissa Additions and it adds a couple dinos. Like it's like a special Argent and uh, some Wyverns. And then it's got Amissa Structures, which I assume can give you assets that look like that, which I hope is the case, because that little main city thing looks dope AF. Uh, and then the only creature mod that I actively added was the Paleo Arc mod, which is, you know, the Rex and the Giga rework. Uh, the Rex... The Rex... is tamed like a Karcha, which is kind of cool. And the Giga, uh, I don't know. I don't know... If that's got different taming, I would imagine it's tamed like a Karcha too, but, you know, maybe not. I don't know. Like I said, multiple times. <laughs> and then I also, uh, yeah, in my I and I settings, I did some cool stuff. So, I put the stamina to where it's times two, so 20 points a level. Weight is times two, 20 points a level. And then fortitude is actually times five, because fortitude, I'm sure you're all aware, completely broken in ASA. Not only is fortitude broken, but like temperature settings on the maps are completely broken. Where, you know, uh, you can be standing in the same spot and it can swing from 150 degrees Fahrenheit to like 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And you know, I live in the Midwest. I'm used to, to temperature changing a lot throughout the day and being just generally terrible, you know? But. That's that's a little intense, even for a floating a floating fantasy spaceship, where hu you know future humanity sent us to uh, to see if we could survive long enough to resettle the Earth. Like that's kind of, that's the Ark lore, right? <laughs> even in that fantasy setting, you know, I I just don't believe that. The temperatures would swing like that. And since Fortitude does almost nothing in ASA like it did in ASE, Fortitude in ASE was great. Uh, but in ASA, it has been broken since launch. I am fully confident it will remain broken until the end of all time. So we bumped that level up a little bit. Oh, and then for settings, if you guys want to see it, I this is the other mod that I did was the, the admin panel. 
But, uh, oop, wrong one. That's the actual admin panel. This is the user info panel. So XP and taming are times five. Breeding is hatch and raising 25, mating interval 0 0.05, and one imprint. And then I actually got beacon. I was able to, so I put loot crates up to two. Beacon helps a ton. If you've never set up a server and you're going to mess with the INI &I files, you have to get beacon. Like it's, I could not believe how easy it made all of this for me. For me, somebody who's never done this stuff before. But I made custom white drops. So a regular white drop will give you a hide starter kit. And a ringed white drop will give you a flax starter kit. And, uh, you know, there were several of you who had expressed interest in playing with me, playing ARC with me. Uh, this private server has 10 slots. So, yeah, if you want to play on this with me, uh, you know, feel free to reach out. Like I said in, a pre in the official video, I don't really know if I'm going to, like, tribe up with anybody. Because it is surviving solo, you know. But, I, I don't know, maybe we could ally for boss fights or you know maybe we could go hunt wyverns together or you know do something or even if you just want to play with me and we can you know you can make fun of how crappily i build and i can sit in awe of how great you build you know that could very much very very much be a thing uh you know if you're interested hit me up uh i'll send you the password and uh yeah you know the only thing i i can say is don't be a friggin dick you know that's like that's like the number one rule in life and it applies to playing on any server but especially the server that i own <laughs> is don't be a dick and you know everything will be fine <laughs> but you know let's uh what where are we now is this the crystal beach cool yeah i could see uh i can see why it's named crystal beach you know i think uh i think the name the name makes a lot of sense, so thanks, Sicko. Uh, oh yeah, and then this mod is developed by Sicko. And uh, did I already mention that I put the max level at 180? So that's like pretty cool. Oh, let's kill these. This, let's kill this dodo. Let's tame these dodos. No, come on, come on. Ah, I got a dodo. Got a second dodo. I think that's a breeding pair of brother and sister dodos. So that's, uh, you know, that's real, real cool, maybe, is the word. Probably not the word, but we're that's the word we're going to go with. Okay, let me get some water, man. Let me get some water. Let me throw some berries into these guys. And this place seems pretty safe, so maybe we'll let them hang out here until they're grown. What percentage? You guys are like very low percentages, right? 1.4%. Yeah, you're... I'm sorry, bud. You're... You know, you're probably not going to make it. Uh, <laughs> and you're 3.2... Well, let's see what the breeding settings are like. How... 3.2... 1.4... It's not ticked up at all? Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I said that setting up. Oh, wait, that's 4.3. So that's not too bad. You're not going up... Oh, there, you did tick up. Oh, it may, is it just server lag not showing me, like, as it climbs? That could be a thing, for sure. All right, well, you guys stay right there. Try to stay alive. I'm sorry if you die. I'm not going to really care too much. Um, you know, not to, not to be a jerk, but I'm just not going to care. There we go. Killing things left and right, man. Let's see, let's just explore a little bit more along this coastline. It looks super cool, man. This is, this is really nicely done. Yeah, the mod developer's name is Sicko, and it's S-I-C-C-O. So don't go thinking he's like some kind of pervert or anything, or like constantly has the flu, because it is S-I-C-C-O. Uh, but from like screenshots and stuff I've seen in his Discord, dude, why are these rocks red? Is that a special kind of rock? No. Is there a harvestable crystal on the ground here? Or is it just called Crystal Beach because it looks cool? But yeah, Sicko is the mod developer. And from screenshots that I have seen, he appears to be very, very talented. So, uh, and from what I've seen already just playing the game for a few minutes. Very talented. Oh, crap. I'm out of stam. My last spear broke. Can I get more? Oh, there we go. Let's kill this Ichthy. Oh, and that Ichthy. Oh my god, there's so many Ichthys. How is Stop the Steel 
not a mod that I remembered to install on here. <laughs> That's like my favorite mod because I hate those things so much. With an with an undying passion, I hate them. Ooh, this is cool. This is super cool looking, man. But I do, you know, I, I... Oh my god, you're chasing me, dude? Really? Go away. I don't want... Nobody wants to be your friends. Nobody wants to be here with you. Just go away. Can we get up to this cliff and maybe... Oh my god, you're following me still? Where does it end with you, man? Oh, crap. That's one of the new Rexes, isn't it? Oh my god. Dude, that thing looks super cool. It's so much beefier than... Oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. What? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. That was insane. That Rex is insane, man. Oh. <laughs> what in the world? That was... That was really cool, man. That was really cool. Those things are so much beefier than Vanilla Rexes. And it's like a little bit lower to the ground. Like I almost thought it was an aloe. Like it's... Uh, it's like it's uh, it's weight was shifted way more toward the front. I mean, it still had like those huge haunches in the back, but oh man, th dude, that was a super cool model. I had not really seen that much. I had never seen it in game because it's a mod I've never played with before. And it's hard to get a feel from watching somebody else's YouTube video what that is like. But dude, that's, that was, a lot of fun. Uh, that was fun. It's fun to die like that, man, you know? What is this moss chop one? Raw prime fish meat? Are you the one we already saw? Ooh, but I could kill you. No, because moss chops... I swear to God, they say they have babies. They don't have babies. I feel like they're just messing with us, man, you know? Like, don't lie to me, moss chops. I know your real story. Okay, let's get some, um... Oh, I need to start a tr- Oh... Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot I set up auto-tribes on this server. So you don't even have to start a tribe. The server will start a tribe for you. Um, because I always transfer maps. And since I play a lot of PvP, I transfer maps and then I forget to, uh... Why can't I make the spear? Oh, okay. Um, I'll transfer maps and forget to set up a tribe on the new map. And then, you know, I won't have a tribe log, so I'll have no idea who killed me or all, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Not gonna matter here, because, you know, if you get on and play with me, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be killing each other. We're gonna be nice to each other. But, you know. Alright, let's get back to the beach. I do want to see if I can get my dodos. How far away are they? Let me track those guys. Nope. Use the buttons. Use the buttons. Once care immediately. 500 meters. Let's see if I can run that far. Ooh, did they change the... It changes the blue icon now when they want an imprint? That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. So you can, like, keep them up on your map and always tell. And some of these assets are just loading in a little bit slow. What's my ping at? 88 ping. Hey man, I will take that compared to what you guys have seen me doing lately. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of the nice thing and kind of the scary thing about running my own server, right? Is, uh, can I make a parachute? Am I high enough level? I am not. Uh, you know, one of the scary things, but nice things about running your own server is... I got nobody to blame. And Jesus! Dude, another Rex! Oh my god! Whew. Okay. <laughs> I am really, really sorry about your ears, guys, but I, I was not expecting a Rex jump scare. <laughs> 
dude, that mod, that mod is awesome. That is really, really, really cool. Well, maybe we should uh, start building up a little bit closer to the safety of this. Oh, and we're almost dead. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> that seriously scared me so much. Uh, oh my god. I can't, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I didn't expect to be scared that much. It's It's got a new roar. And the new roar is like... The new roar is pretty... Uh, <laughs> it's pretty... Pretty... Uh, pretty intense. Man, I'm at a loss for words with that roar. The thing really effed me up a little bit. But all right, let's get over here. We'll get a little flint, get a little hatchet going, get a little more fiber going. Maybe we'll just throw down a base here, see what we can do about taming anything, right? Kill some dodos, stop exploring so much. You know, I don't need to see the whole map today. As cool as it may be, we're gonna be here for quite some time. I think the map's pretty close to completion. It's like 70% plus, which is very cool, you know? It's nice to see uh, all these mod maps getting worked on so hard because, uh, you know, it takes a lot of hours to, to build this. Like, you know, it's not from scratch, technically, because it's like all from the ARC... Well, not all from the ARC dev kit, but like, you know, a lot of this stuff is from the ARC dev kit. And then they're making, like, some custom assets on their own, right? But, like, should I try to kill this, uh, this Ichthy? Is it going to go poorly for me? But, yeah, it takes, you know, this guy is probably hundreds of hours of work into this thing, right? Oh, it killed it in one shot. Thank God. So yeah, this guy's probably hundreds of hours of work into this thing, and like you can tell, and it's nice to see it start to be completed, because I'm sure when these guys saw all the new assets in Ascended, they probably got really excited, right? Because, you know, it's Ark, and they love Ark, and all that kind of stuff, and it's new new toys to play with for everybody, right? So, yeah, let me, uh, I need to make some... I'll make the full set this time. Let's just go nuts with a full fiber set... Like, there's no way a Rex is going to do anything to us, right? We'll get some Fortitude going. And could, does that give us wood yet? It does not give us wood. But it gives us Mortar and Pestle. That is huge. Um, Let's see. I thought I had Awesome Spyglass on here. Does it not... Uh, what level does it unlock at? Oh, it does right here. Okay. Why isn't it not showing up right here, then? Why is it... Oh, it's... <laughs> you gotta read, Kyle. You gotta read, man. You've known how to do it for most of your life. You just gotta do it. Alright, let's get a little bit of a base down. I wanna, We'll keep it here so we can set up water soon. And, like... You know, I want to be close to the city for now. Because it's a very cool spot. Oh, that's kind of a cool spot. It would be super safe, too. But, nah, it's not gonna be big enough. Um, but yeah, I want to be close to the city because it's a safe spot, but I don't want to, like, build the city because, you know, again, I want to be a friendly server member and maybe one of you guys wants to get on here and, and build out the city. One of you guys could do it in a way that actually looks cool because, you know, if you saw my ASE videos, you know my building has improved 3,000-fold. Most of that's because the building on Ascended is just that much better than, than the building on ASE was. But I'm still not good at it. I'm getting better because now that I'm playing more... now well, I'm not going to lie. Now that I'm playing for YouTube, you know, I used to just build like the most basic box and just roll with it, right? But now that I'm playing on YouTube, I want it to like... Ooh, make a bed. I want it to at least not be embarrassing... <laughs> to look at, you know? So, uh, you know, I am getting better. I am getting better, but I am still not quite good. But you know what? That's the whole point of life, right? You don't have to be good. As long as you're improving, you are in a good spot, my friend. 
There we go. We'll just, just set up windows on all the sides, right? That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, what do I need? Three more walls. One, two, three. We'll throw down the bed. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's get the rest of these walls up. One here. One here. One here. We'll throw the door on it. What's that noise? Oh, it's noon. Man, <laughs> I guess I'm still on edge from that Rex, because just the custom noon music, or not even custom, just the regular Ark noon music, just, just scared the crap out of me, man. Oh, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Alright, cool. So there we go there. Let's, uh, what else do we need to make those roof pieces? Probably more thatch, right? A lot more thatch, a little bit more fiber. Okay. You know, we can do that. Resources are abundant right in this spot. That is for sure. Oh, do I have meat that I can start splitting yet? Okay, cool. Let me split, uh, what, maybe that many and then I can cook the rest. Sounds like a good idea. Since I will need food, I did not change... Uh, food drain or any or water drain or anything like that. Like I think it's a nice feature on uh, PvP servers, but mostly because on PvP servers you got a lot of other shit you need to worry about more than making yourself drink water, right? And uh, you know, it's a little bit cheaty. I mean, it's not a little bit cheaty to never need to eat or drink. It's a lot cheaty, but you know, I don't know. I like it on there. I'm not going to do it on here. And as I have told you guys before, my YouTube series, and now I can say my server, so I'm going to play it how I want to play it. Although I will say, you know, if you get on and play with me, and you have something, some changes that you want to see, you know, I'm, I'm, I am not a dictator. I am open to other people's ideas. You know, I just... I want to play the game how I want to play, just like everybody else does, right? And my way of playing is generally not a lot of mods. Like, I love, I love the mods, and I love the modding scene, and I think everybody in it is so incredibly talented. But, at the same time, I want to play Ark, right? And sometimes when you have so many mods, like I had... The Insaluna series that I keep talking about, because I have filmed like two full episodes, I just have not gotten to editing it because it's such a grind. But those two, or those, that series, I have like 28 mods on there, which makes it a lot of fun in some ways, but it also makes it feel like it's like I'm not playing Ark in some ways, you know? And I don't know. Maybe it's because. Mods were never an option for me on ASE. Maybe it's because I started on Switch, which had no option. So even just coming to Xbox and getting more maps <laughs> felt like felt like a whole new gameplay. Can I make a bola yet? That would be dope. I probably can after leveling a little. Let's go wait. But you know, I want I just want it to feel like Ark. And, you know, having quality of life mods doesn't change that in my opinion but having tons and tons and tons of like completely game changing or overhaul mods you know I don't know I guess everybody feels differently about that kind of thing and that's just how I feel and you know I can tell you how I feel but I can't necessarily articulate why that's how I feel if that makes sense and bolas. I can't remember. I think it's the auto engrams mod, but it puts bolas as the number one item in your in your engram list. So I always forget that it's there and think, how have I not unlocked this thing yet? Well, in reality, I have unlocked it. All right, seven bolas sounds like a great way to start. What do we need for some more arrows? We're gonna need. Uh, oh, we're going to need thatch and some fiber. I see a parasaur over here. So I want to... Well, I want to go look at it and see what level it is and decide if that's what we're going to be taming first or if we're going to be um, killing it to get hide, right? 
Uh, let's keep going on Stam for a minute. Uh, let's keep going on Stam for a minute. There we go. And then, yeah, Fiber and Thatch. Let's go. Did I put that stack of meat in the grill? I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I'm starting to get... Starting to get a little hungry, so wanted to make sure I had done that for myself. Let's make the arrows however many we can. Hopefully, like, 30 more. That'd be cool. Okay, exactly 30. Wow. Guys, I am a... I'm a genius. Nostra Kyle is what they called me back in uh, back in the day. That was my nickname in high school, for sure. No, Nostra Kyle. Alright, and then, let's see. We could take out that turtle and start getting some keratin get ourselves a little flyer could be cool what level are you level 60 you're gonna be perfect for killing not for taming 110 110 110 one more boom nailed it see nostra kyle strikes again and let's go check out this uh oh man a lot of hide from one little little parasaur. I like it. Uh, let's see. Turtle, what level are you? 24? Dude, you're the perfect level for... For killing. Perfect level for killing. We'll get you down. And we'll get all your chitin. Tell me you have 75 pieces and maybe a PT can be our first tame of the playthrough. That would be cool. Although we're still pretty far off from, uh, still pretty far off from the saddle. But that's okay. All right, you're running, bud. But are you dying? That's the real question. Ah, hey. Who picks now to fight back? I'll go get that Rex and sick it on you, bro. There we go. Give me some of those arrows back. You took a lot of arrows. Two arrows back? That's all you're giving me? What a load of crap you are. Another level up. Booyah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Alright. 29. That's not even halfway to a saddle, which is fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get stamina up to 200. And then let's see what that gives us for engrams now. That's getting us started into wood. Very cool. Spike walls. Very cool. Uh, we're level 13, so we're still quite a ways off from even Trank Arrows, actually. But we can make the narcotics. I think... I feel bad. I mean, that Dodo's... Those Dodo's are definitely gonna... Just gonna starve. And I feel bad, especially after talking about what a great Dodo Dad I was. I feel like that's decidedly not great Dodo Dad action to let your... To let your dodo children just starve and die as babies but I mean it could be worse like I could kill them for hide I didn't light the fire that would have helped could have killed them for hide I could have uh, I could have um, yeah I don't know ooh we're gonna get what 13 14 14 narcotics already good that'll level us up a little bit too so I'm gonna I'm gonna let this sit for a minute while the while the narcotics make up and then we'll come back and see what we can get up to. Alright, narcotics are done. We did get another level from it. I made a little quality of life storage box just so I can keep some of this stuff safe, right? Um, I guess we'll keep these to eat for the time being. And can I make a parachute yet? What level is the parachute? It's like 20 something, right? Is it is it straight up level 20? Uh, 22. Okay, that's gonna be a bit, but you know what? That's okay. Let's get the meat, and then we'll s we'll go see what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I want to stay away from there because I know there's there be T Rexes that way, right? There's a baby trike here. Level 24 trike. What level is this PT? We could get it tamed, maybe. Maybe we could club it out. I don't know. 
You tell me. I guess maybe I could tell you here in a minute. Level 42. Nope, you're going to be... Uh, we're going to turn you into food there, bud. 247, not bad. Alright, cool. Got him down. Love it. And then, um... Oh, I don't know. Should we try to make enough, uh... Let's try to make arrows to take out this trike. See if we can get up somewhere that would be, you know, safer than on the ground. It's only a level 24 trike. <coughs> so it shouldn't be too hard to take out. Then I would love to get a white drop today. A white drop with a, with a ring on it to start getting some flak. It's got flak, a bed, and uh, metal hatchet, metal pick, metal sickle, right? I thought that would be a pretty nice little starter kit. Not overpowered, but just, you know, a nice little convenience. 25 more arrows. What else do I need? Thatch. Let's get 100 or so thatch. Perfect. And we'll climb back up here because I think this would be a relatively trike safe place. Right? I mean, there's no way a trike's getting up here. Uh, let's make another bow and arrow because our one's about to break. And then 61 more arrows sounds pretty good to me. Oh my god, you stupid, stupid bird. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you're done for, bud. Oh, you're done for, bud. Oh, you're done for, bud. <laughs> Why? Why am I so bad? Alright, we're just gonna use the spear, I think. Come on, bud. Come attack me. Come at me again, bro. Stupid jerk. Dude, attack me again. What's the matter with you? Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we're not strong enough. We'll just pummel the sky with arrows. They're cheap. <laughs> oh my god. I will say, aiming sucks a lot in, uh... In third player, aiming is a lot worse. Hey, we got it. Stupid bird. Stupid steely bird. So yeah, next, uh, between episodes, I probably will put Stop the Steal. Just because, like, man, I don't like that. <laughs> and that's, you know, I just don't like it. Is that going to hit? Should I go first person, probably? Is that going to hit? Hey! Can I get it over his head? I want to be able to hit his back. That would be a guess. That's perfect. I don't want his stupid little head to get in the way. You know? Alright, let's keep pummeling him, pummeling him with arrows. He's kind of stuck. No, don't get unstuck. You were in the perfect spot for me, man. Where are you running? I hit you? Oh, that one actually hit. That's a good shot. Could have used one of those on the Ichthyornis, you know? Yeah, that one only did like five damage, so it's... Get out of the way, Pteranodon. You might be a high level. You might be the one we want to tame. This trike's a madman. Oh, snap. Oh, that could have been bad. Come on, man. How many can you take? Ah. How many can I put into the rock? That Tyranodon's just chilling, man. Do you not see the epic battle going on here, my friend? Uh-oh. Down to only 12 left. It's gotta go down soon, right? 
Yeah! Ooh, 66. That was actually a decent level. Alright, let's do this. How do you have such little keratin when... When your whole faceplate is made out of keratin. I know it is. You can't lie to me and tell me it's not. Level 42. Alright. Uh, what level are you? Level 6 with a baby? Ooh, I need to... I need to repair. What do I need to repair these things? I need more fiber. Okay. Let's pick the fiber... Then we'll kill this turtle. Maybe get ourselves a little turtle tame. You know, a level 6 turtle's not going to be good for much. Except it will be very good for uh, being a refrigerator for us. Now I need more wood. Oh, come on, man. Come on now. Alright, let's do this. Get you done. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to repair. Oh, well, then hit the button, Kyle. You know, it's not that hard to figure out. There we go. Get this guy down. I didn't see the baby anywhere, so I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like the Moss Chops baby where it doesn't actually exist. This playthrough, I'm trying not to use the uh, grass size scale command. You know, I want to see if it's... If on my own server that I'm, like, configuring, if maybe it's not necessary. Because that would be cool to be able to play the game as uh, as the uh, what as the graphics are intended. Those are the words I was looking for. Oh crap! Only one more arrow. Oh, perfect amount of arrows. I knew it. You guys didn't believe it, but I knew it the whole time. All right, man. We are going on a nice little kill streak here. Where's our base? <laughs> There's the city, so base is somewhere back in this general direction. Uh, there she is. <coughs> yeah, let's deposit this hide. And we'll deposit uh, the fiber, the metal. Throw the narco berries in here. We'll pick up the meat. Guess we can make two more. Nice. Pick up all this cooked meat. And then what? We've got a, a level to put in. Three levels to put in. Holy cow. Let's see. Weight's at 180. Stam's at 200. Let's go all three into weight. You know, why not? That puts us at level 17. So what's down here now? Ooh, perfect. The, uh, the stone water intake. Nice. And the stone water tap. What do we need for that? We need more stone. Cool. Uh, trike saddle. Okay. Raft. Maybe we should work toward a raft. Hmm. Would be nice to be able to get around everywhere real nice and easy. Uh, let's see. Hide armor got unlocked. What's this? Oh, gravestone. All right, cool. Looks like I need a little bit of stone to be able to make a tap so we have water on demand. Wireless water, baby! And, um... Yeah. Let's get some water. Let's get another hatchet. That's what I meant. Look how badly we need water. The whole screen is going nuts because we need water that badly. All right. Well, I need stone. Thank you. Thank you, stone. All right, let's head back to the base. Don't think we're taming that over raptor anytime soon. Uh, ba ba ba. Dude, I. Sorry, I know you guys can't hear it, but the Amissa City music is so good. It's so tranquil. It's a banger, as they say, as the kids say. All right, let's get this intake down here in the water. There we go. Oh, 
Hang on, let me drink while I'm down here. There we go. Eat some food too. And let's put the water tap on the wall. Should we put it outside? Because, you know, you don't want water splashing around all on the inside of your house, right? What level are you, bud? 42. Why is... Oh, are you the one I saw earlier and didn't kill? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I do kind of think we should work toward the raft. I do think we should work toward the raft. So I definitely have enough hide. I'm probably missing wood and that's it right uh where did raft go fiber and wood cool that is very easy for us to get so let's do that and then we'll throw down a raft and kind of yeah there we go raft is crafting oh now i'm hot here 118 degrees good lord yeah, no wonder I'm hot here. That's kind of nuts. Uh, level up. We're going to need to go more into weight again. And we'll run over here. We'll drop some resources. Or no, I guess we'll get some resources. 14. Uh, we'll make the mortar and pestle. Do mortar and pestle type things again. Two of those, and then let's start heading toward the water. So straight this way is the dodo. I need to drop some extra weight. Um, yeah, we'll drop all the berries. Let's see what that does for us. Not much. Turns out it's the 85 pound raft is what's making the biggest difference. <laughs> well, you know what? It doesn't really matter because we're not outrunning that Rex if we see it anyway. Right? <laughs> like, we're definitely not outrunning, outrunning the Rex. So, I mean, we're screwed. How am I de- oh, because it's so hot. Yes, 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 yes. That makes sense. All the more reason to get to the water and throw in a raft so that we can go swimming. We can have a fun little swimming pool play day. And, you know, that'll be, uh, that'll be it. We'll keep a lookout for Rex's. <laughs> oh my god, that Rex scared me so badly. So, so badly. And it looks like the Dodos survived, which is fantastic, right? I mean, way better than having them die. The eggs will be useful for food, for sure. Oh, I'm out of Stam now. Come on, man. I want to get to my Dodo. There were two of them, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, uh, one did die. What happened there? I didn't see it come across the top. Dude, let me... There we go. There's water. But you're fully grown, right? <laughs> oh, because I put berries in it. Okay. White, let me see you. Let me see you, man. There you go. Throw you over there. Let's throw this raft down. Booyah. Let's pick up Mr. Dodo. Wait, do you have berries? Do you have food? You don't, man. Oh my god, your food is down to nothing. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dodo. Let me eat your egg and then we'll collect you some more food. Because you're going to be the anchor of this playthrough. I can already tell. I can already tell. We're going to need to get you a couple... Uh, are you male or female? You're female. Alright, we're going to need to get you a boyfriend. And, you know, let you create an army for us. 
will be the uh, the Dodo Whisperer of Ark Ascended. All right, there we go. Put all the food in. You hold it for us. And let's pick you up. Oh, almost threw it overboard. That could have been bad. Uh, options, hide sail. Let me get that water, bruh. And then I don't know if it's a mod or a setting I accidentally clicked, but, you know, water should not look like this. Maybe it's part of the map. That I mean, that is possible. But, yeah, who knows. But Hey, man, what do you know? We got a raft going. Uh, so that is pretty cool. We're here on Amissa, man. And you know what? For today, we're going to call it there. I mean, we got the dodo. We got a little bit of a base set up. We got the raft. And we're poised to have just a friggin' ball of a time, man. So, yeah. I mean, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through, uh, through all the, the troubles we've had recently with the different playthroughs and stuff. I think renting our own server is going to fix the problem, but you never know, right? So, yeah. But... Definitely, if you want to check out more of the Amissa playthrough as we're going through it, give me a subscribe and uh, we will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.